Next up, we're going to do Anna teaching the push jerk. All right. Sorry about the background noise on this one, but there's nothing we can do about it. But we can still see what we need to see on this one. Okay. Good explanation that we're building on the shoulder press. Probably the best way of getting heavy load overhead is what you say. So I'd be a little bit more confident you really want to sell it so you can say it is the best way of getting heavy weight all the way overhead. Um, and then maybe a, a little bit of a, a, a little bit of the mechanism. So we're building on the push press, but now we have one more rebending in the knees to get under that weight and stand up. So before again, we get into stance grip positioning. Show them what it looks like, all right? People are going to learn verbally, visually, and tactilely or kinesthetically. So, so far we've really just given them a verbal cueing so far. So when you're dipping right there, you're having a little a bend in the waist as you're doing that. So we want to make sure that we're staying nice and vertical as we dip. You can also, you can show them the difference between a push press and a push jerk. One thing I like to do that, that I've found helps people is you can do initial push press, stop at nose height with that bar, and then do that re-dip or press under the bar right there and show them what it looks like right there before you get into the teaching progressions. Good. So we need to reset their feet. So you can give them the, the command and jump, stand, reset the feet, and jump, stand, reset the feet. And then they're following your commands on that. There you go. Now you're curing them properly. Right. Landing quite a bit bent over on that. So they're starting to get off of your cues right there. If that ever starts to happen, especially if we're doing like level two testing, you want to quickly reestablish control of the group. Just throw out around her. Okay, moving on my cues. Make sure those arms get all the way extended at the top. Get some bent elbows. Picking on Sean a lot because he's right in front of that. And regardless of whether or not that load is heavy, that's what we want to teach them to do. So it's the hips and legs that jump that weight up. The job of the arms in the push jerk is to push our body underneath. We're not pushing that weight up, we're pushing our weight down. So regardless of how heavy that load is, we want to teach that we are pressing our bodies underneath the bar. So against the weight of that bar, pushing ourselves down. All right. A lot of movement on their own, which can be fine, but again, for the purposes of what we're training this for, if, we, if they open up that level two testing again, got to keep them moving on your commands. Our 
Watch where Jeff is landing with that weight over the head. It's out over the toes. Don't be afraid to correct that right away. We're not doing anybody any favors by being too nice to him here. Be relentless. A cue you can give on fully opening the hips is either the command to finish, you can show them what that looks like, or, you know, it's okay to pull somebody out, do a sort of a, a little classroom if it's briefly in this situation, and, you know, you can put a hand on top of their shoulders so that when they dip and drive, they're hitting that initial target again to make sure they're fully opening up those hips. And the way you're teaching it there is you're still doing the press out with the bar. We want to teach them to press their bodies underneath the bar. Go ahead and give them the command stand, reset the feet, bars down. Have them following your verbal cues, not on their own program. So you, you definitely got them moving in the right direction, but we want to make sure that we're refining that so that they're using maximum hip drive to jump that weight up and then speed and arm to press themselves down and receive that in a good position, balanced overhead. All right, so way to follow the progressions and all the cues, uh, but again, we want to make sure that, that we're getting them to move exactly how we want them to. So go around, don't be afraid to hit a ton of reps once we actually get to the jerk. Keep fixing people, and if there's a cue that you see in quite a few people, then you can single somebody out, even though it may be applicable to more than one person. All right, good job.